Well, hello there, kind fan. I really appreciate you tuning in to this video. This is a What You Missed episode about uh, some fellow YouTubers, shall we put it. But this does have a lot to do with gaming, and there are some important stories here. Let me introduce you to Ouija the God if you don't know him. We're going to head on over to his channel. Ouija the God is, uh, he's, uh, He's, uh, he's a scumbag, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, ladies and gentlemen. He's a scumbag. His, uh, top six videos right here that are in your face on, uh, his channel. This is gonna get you a feel for what this guy does. Let's begin with, uh, why I dropped out of high school. Mmm. You're really setting the mood here, uh, Ouija. Uh, then we go ahead and take a look at... Uh, three out of six of the thumbnails here, and uh, yeah, wouldn't you know it, they're clickbait with uh, women, and they're partially exposed, and, and again, uh, it's very clickbaity thumbnails to get the views. You know exactly what they are. The rest of them are uh, trending topics, such as Cuphead and uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And uh, again, not very original, because uh, shocker, Cuphead, the dark souls of uh, video games. Mmm. Mm, you're really, uh, really breaking the paradigm there. So, we have ourselves one clickbaity, unoriginal YouTuber with a somewhat decent fan base here who does topics on trending subjects. Why is this news, Proto? Oh, uh, let me explain. This individual has, uh, decided to go on live stream and, uh, well, let me just pull up the images. Forgive me, these are from my phone. This happened late at night last night, so I screenshotted it on my phone. Ouija the God on Twitter. I purchased Sonic Forces, beat Sonic Forces, and refunded Sonic Forces all in one stream. We call that value. And then he shows a screenshot of him doing just that. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, he's done nothing wrong. He can refund a game as long as he's not abusing the system within the parameters. I would like to counter-argue that this guy is a YouTuber and a streamer. He gets decent views, albeit somewhat smaller time on YouTube. He still gets enough views to afford $40, does he not? Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe he's a mooch in his mother's basement. At the end of the day, the only person who knows his financial situation is himself. I'm not attacking him over that. I'm just making the point that it's a $40 game. You refunded it. It's obviously not about the money. That's not the reason you refunded it. The reason you refunded it is because you could and to take the piss out of it. And because you probably didn't want the game anymore. But you played through the game already. It would be like if you rented the game for three hours, you played through it, and then you took it back to a rental place and returned it and said, well, I'm done with this game. They might give you an exchange, and they might not ask any questions, but you, you're still doing something pretty immorally wrong. You 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 played through the game, man. It, it, it's, it's, not, it's fundamentally not right. But if this was the only point of contention, I could understand where you're coming from. You're probably thinking, wow, man, you know, this is what you're moaning and whining about. Ah, no, that's not the only point of contention. See, what ended up happening is that he alerted someone who actually worked for Sega. Mm-hmm. Yep, a verified person on Twitter that worked for Sega said it's potentially abuse because you lied on your request for refund claiming you had bought the wrong game and then he brings up he brings up earlier on twitter how ouija had intended to stream sonic forces by saying quote gonna stream sonic forces later today and probably make a lot of babies mad so what this uh, person who works at Sega has brought to the attention to the video gaming community is that, hey buddy, uh, you're, uh, you're not only a scumbag clickbaiter, you're, you're not only unoriginal, but you're also a liar because uh, you got caught. You got caught, cowboy. I, I don't know how else to put it. You're pathetic, Ouija the, the, I'm sorry, not Ouija the God, Ouija the Con. There we go. I, I really vote for everyone to move to call this guy Ouija the Con whenever you see him. This guy has thousands of fans. And what does he do to justify this? Does he say, you know what? I'm sorry, man. I was taking the mickey. I was taking the piss out of this. I was joking. I was making fun of how bad Sonic games are. 
I was wrong for lying. Does he say that? No, no. What he ends up doing is doubling down. In a tweet reply to this, over 86,000 people saw me refund Call of Duty in an old video about it, and exactly zero people complained. I wonder why this time is different. Could it be that Sonic fans are just hypersensitive crybabies with a rampant us versus them mentality? No, impossible. You make a good point, Ouija the Con, but uh, I like to interject here. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh, you caught the attention of a Sega employee. Sega employee. Steam might not care. Oh, but I'm fairly certain that they're going to hear about this because there are new stories being uh, covered about this. So this is this is kind of a big thing that you've done here. You've lied and you basically abused the refund system by lying. If you just refunded the game because you beat it in under three hours, I'm fairly certain you could make the appeal to customer support and say, hey, I didn't want to play the game anymore. I don't like the game. I want my money back. I may have streamed it. I may have beaten it, but I just don't like it. Can I please get a refund? I probably would have gave it to you. But no, you lied. You lied, Ouija the Con. You're a liar. You're a liar. You got called out. And now we're waiting for uh, Ouija the Con to make a full response video against uh, news websites like Polygon, who basically just report on this stuff. To make it a little bit more metaphorically sound here, it would be like if Ouija the Con tweeted out talking about how he was going to go to Golden Corral and eat a meal. He, he announced it. He said he was going to live stream himself eating a meal. He goes, he live streams himself eating the meal, buys the meal ticket, goes in there, starts live streaming, eats the meal, enjoys some of it, some of the time, okay? Maybe he didn't like all of it, but some of it. And then after he's completely finished eating, he goes and says, I want a refund now. You make the gaming community look bad. You make us us the entirety of the gaming community have to deal with more bs more regulations because you abuse systems by lying and saying nope i didn't buy the right game and you know what if that if that sega employee that verified sega employee is wrong and lied about that in some way shape or form fine so be it but it's still a really scummy thing that you did okay so full disclosure here these stories that I'm covering right now and talking about are my opinion. And in my opinion, Ouija the God is no God. He's a con and he's a piece of crap. Because if you thought that was the only thing that he did that was pretty crappy, uh, if you look him up, you can find a video called Clickbait Thievery and You, a response to why the Blue Yeti sucks. Because Ouija Plays has decided to steal someone else's video almost word for word in, in about a large chunk segment of the entire video you can watch the video yourself i will link it in the description below because i implore you to see what this con scumbag is doing i don't often call people out my channel's not made for that but this this is crap ouija the con ouija the con you, you you're a piece of crap dude you hurt the gaming community and uh, really appreciate how much work and effort we put into trying to get a refund um, policy put in solid place so that we can refund crap glitched messed up games on Steam just to have you moan and whine about a $40 Sonic game and then get, get your Twitter feed blown up about it. You're a piece of crap, dude. So I want to close on this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, this is a really big and important story that I really wanted to cover. I didn't really like, uh, what was it, Destiny 2 here? I, I, I played through the campaign. I played through it with three characters. I did almost everything I could. Ultimately, I don't really like it that much anymore. I think it's a pretty mediocre game. I don't think it's bad. I just don't have much doing it anymore. Should I be able to refund the full amount? Yes, I, I spent more than the minimum amount of hours for a refund. Oh, but I opened it up and I used it. And... Uh, I can't, I can't return this and have them sell it new again. That's not how that works. Same with Call of Duty. Again, I don't really like Call of Duty that much. This is, this is a decent game. It's not broken, but it's just not my thing right now. Can I just return it and get my full money back? Because, I mean, I don't want it anymore, right? That makes a lot of sense at the end of the day when you really think about it. 
in terms of digital content. That raises the argument that technically you should be able to refund your digital content anytime you want because they are not taking back a physical game that is sealed that they have to restock and use manpower to restock. All they have to do is lock you out of that game and remove it from your account. Not something tremendously difficult to do. You don't have to pay someone $10 an hour to man a counter and stock shelves. Okay, so it makes a lot of sense, but is what Ouija the con did right, wrong, or just morally wrong? Well, one, he lied. Two, uh, what he did was just completely morally wrong. And three, um, I mean, come on, do I really have to spell it out for you, ladies and gentlemen? Again, this might be my opinion, but I can't find anyone who would see these tweets and see his defense and try to say, well, you know what, he's just he's just a big troll. Um, if he's lying and he's a liar and he's done something wrong, he, he's a liar and he's done something wrong and he's a liar. That doesn't change just because he's a troll. What changes is that he recorded himself doing it, streamed it, and now Sega, uh, Steam, and basically everyone on Twitter have all the evidence they need to look at him, point their fingers at him, and say, hey man, you're basically a con artist and a pretty scummy person. And that's all it comes down to, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, recap of what you missed here. A YouTube Gamer Edition. Uh, I don't do this often. I don't call people out often. And I do not want to make it a kind of series or a pattern here. I will do it when I feel necessary. This really irked me because, again, the gaming community has strived to try and get refund policies instituted. And now Steam is more than likely either going to ban this guy forever from being able to ever do refunds. Maybe ban his account in, in its entirety. Or they will end up putting more restrictions on refunds for basically everyone else around the entire world because of one complete and total scumbag. Thanks, Ouija the Con. Really appreciate it. I've been your host, Pernamari, and I'm signing out. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, leave me a thumbs down. Tell me what I can do better. And uh, other than that, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. As always, good gaming. God bless. And I really appreciate you stopping by and taking the time out to watch this video.